if, if you are gay, wear it, own it, be it. And say so it's when you only experience that self-consciousness when you're not being who you are, because you always got to play an act. You always got to be something that you're not. If you're gay, own it, be it, live it. Nathan, he's been an integral part of our team for, for a number of years now. He, he's uh, graduated from a, being a senior senior stable hand up to sort of a foreman role. So we sort of working closely with Steve and myself, sort of the running of the tie-up stalls of a morning, um, you know, sort of liaising with vets and uh, and farriers and, and the like, and, and pretty much all, all in between. A very knowledgeable person who's been in the industry for, for obviously a, a number of years now and he's a, very much a key asset to our team. Daryl taught me a lot of the old school ways, like, and probably taught me to be a better horseman from doing those kind of things, like with how I handle my horses, like understanding like different ways horses are acting, like, you know, how horses read our body language and reading their body language, which has helped a lot, like, especially with teaching other people too. Like, yeah, it taught me to be better with the horse. That all comes with knowledge and, and obviously the understanding of, of the way that our system system does work and, and he's a you know very good with, with the staff and, and good at it, good at what he does and you know he's very reliable, very passionate. So when you can find someone like that in your team, it's a, it's a big help. Red light, but very smart on Common James. He wins again. Up of this, Uncommon James, all too good. Comes away to win it well from safe work. Ground wise, though, like I've had a lot to do with James, Uncommon James. Like I, I'm his Queensland strapper, so like I took him to his maiden, I took him to all his early trials and stuff. I, only, I took him to his trial the other day. Like I've had a lot to do with him and like seen him turn into such a confident horse. Oh, it's come a long way. Like I've never experienced any sort of negativity. Never really seen too much like pushback from racing in terms of homosexuality. Like even in. Over the years, like once upon a time, it would be, oh, try pick pick the gay person. Now it's like, oh, well, that person's gay, that person's gay, that person's gay. So that's what I mean. Like, I feel like as an industry as a whole, like we've never had that much pushback on the topic of homosexuality. I just like, it's, you know, it's, and the thing too, it's a changing world. Like now that gays are out there and open and everything, like people are more comfortable.